So I'm Cameron Fry. I am Lisa Ferguson. And we're going to share with you how we got engaged. Recently. Yes, it took place on Saturday, November 3rd. It all started with a song, and it ended with, yes, I will marry you. But we're going to fill you in all the juicy, intimate details here. So all of them. Good, it started, bad, awkward. <laughs> it started with a song, and I guess we could start our story at 4 a.m. Saturday. That's when I woke up and couldn't go back to sleep. I tried, but I couldn't go back to sleep. I was too excited. That's when his story started. My story didn't start until probably about 7.30 or 8. His started at 4 a.m. Saturday morning. I was definitely still asleep. Yes, I night. woke up at 4, couldn't go back to sleep. I was so excited. So... I woke up, it was 6.30, and I was making my way to this church, Fernville Community Church. And the plan was to, it all started with a song, and I was going to propose through a song that I wrote that I'd been working on for about a month. Which I was completely unaware of. Had no idea he'd been writing a song, mm -hmm. had no idea he was going to propose. I knew we were going to Denny's, and that was about it. Yes, it was going to, I was going to take her to breakfast at Denny's, and then we were going to go hiking or at least show her the place where we were going to go hiking um, and then after that I, we were going to go to Natchez Trace Parkway and kind of go on a hike on wheels if you know what I mean um, but so I woke up at 4 left the house at 6 30 um, I did some coordinating with Wesley Knight's dad his name is Kimball Knight he's the pastor over at Fernville Community Church in Fairview and I had also uh, coordinated with him and he and Kimball pointed me in the direction of Jerry who lived a mile down the road from the church. He had the keys to the church. He was kind of going to let me in um, early Saturday morning to prepare the sanctuary for uh, the place of engagement. Yes. Yes. It was a beautiful sanctuary, this little country white church in the middle of nowhere. Steeple and everything, exposed rafters. Yes. Keys. Gorgeous. So cute. It was phenomenal. Um, so... I got there around 8.30 and with Jerry, and I just got the keyboard set up. I got the mic set up. I got the soundboard set up. Jerry didn't know a thing about sound or anything techy, so I kind of had to go Jonathan Shulton and, you know, put it all together. But I did. I was, like, praying, oh, Lord, help me figure this out because I want this to happen. Um, and the plan was to come back after breakfast, and her parents were going to record hiding behind the sound booth and it was a perfect setup. It really, like, between the beauty of the sanctuary and, you know, ha the, her parents having a place to hide and capture the whole thing, it was a good setup. So I take her to Denny's. We have a great time, and I'm completely normal. I'm not too nervous, right? I yeah. I have so after Denny's, we had a great breakfast, by the way. Wonderful. Um, I pretend that we're trying to find Bowie Nature Center which is like a couple miles from Fernvale Community Church. Yeah, his excuse was, Wesley and Kaylee have gone hiking there. They told me how to get there. Yes, and I was driving to uh, Bowie Nature Center, or at least she thinks we are. I'm intentionally, like, getting lost. Like, I'm trying to buy time, making sure her parents are there, like, kind of texting. It was actually kind of cool because you weren't really getting on my case for texting while I was driving. Well, he was acting like he was getting texts from his parents or from whoever. And it well, I wasn't getting like texts from parents. Details parents. <laughs> of other stuff. So I just assumed, you know, it was a honeydew list from his mom or, you know, stuff he needed to handle around the house or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just well, anyway, I'm a... glad you didn't really ask me questions. I'm like, yes. But I'm buying time, like, intentionally getting lost, um, trying to find Bow and Nature Center. Uh, meanwhile, but what she doesn't know is... I'm looking for Ferndale Community Church, and I had never been, I haven't gone there from a certain way, so so I'm driving her to Ferndale Community Church, but she thinks... We're going to Bowie Nature Center, or mm -hmm. Bowie Nature Center. So, so yeah, we're just driving, and I'm getting lost intentionally, trying to buy time, and so finally we arrive, and I was kind of being very chill about it like uh -huh, what like oh there's a church it's wesley knight's dad's church and and pause not cameron is a good actor but he's not the best when it comes to improv and i seriously had no idea at this point that there was anything pre-planned i literally believed we were stumbling upon a church that just happened to be wesley's dad's which church. was exactly my intent it was to i was intentionally 
going there, and I was going to put on this great acting display when, you know... And if you know me, I can be a pretty, like, figure stuff out person, and, like, things come together. I tend to watch for stuff. No, not at all. So everything <laughs> at this point is going according to plan 100%. At this point. And we get there, and we see... I, I noticed Jerry's car, because I know the car that Jerry drives. She, Hi, Jerry. And I told Jerry, you know, before we got there, like leave the door propped open so that would give me a reason and to, to go inside and she would understand why I'm taking her inside because I'm going to be like, hmm, I wonder if Mr. Knight's in here. He's a good friend of mine. and So we're walking in yeah. and I'm like, why are we going into this church? This isn't our and church. And I'm trying to tell her, you know, hey, Mr. Knight's a good friend of mine. The door is open, so maybe he's in there. Maybe we can say hi and surprise him. I and so anyway, and that plan worked. I mean, she kind of felt a little uncomfortable, but... But he got me in the building. I Yeah, so again, everything's going according to plan. Ish. So I'm kind of at the 20-yard line, and about in the red zone here. And this is where Cameron's acting was a little too good. For a little, yeah, for maybe a little. even him. Because we get in the door, and we see Jerry, and I'm surprised to see Jerry. I'm like, why do I see him? So I had to pretend that I didn't know him, even though I totally did. He was the guy, again, who opened the church for us, um... And he lived nice the mile on the road. He's a very great man. But I'd be like, hey, uh, you know where Mr. Knight is? And I was just pretending, you know, I totally knew Mr. Knight wasn't there. But um, he was like, no, he's not here. So I'm like, okay, well, it's not. Uh, what was your name? Nice to meet you. And my name's Cameron. This is Alyssa. We kind of got to know each other. But And he played along. He was a great sport. So I wasn't the only good actor that was yeah, on display. Yeah, so at this at point, that. I really think we've just met someone that Cameron's never met in his life. I'm thinking we are in this building. This guy's here probably. I don't know, maybe he's the janitor. Maybe he's getting stuff set up. We're bugging yeah. him. Having flashbacks to when I used to do janitorial for my church in California and yeah, how we'd chase people out if they came in at a time. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, why are we here? <laughs> That's what's going on inside, outside. I'm like... <laughs> yeah, and I didn't really know. Like, I thought that, you know, everything was normal. But I was kind of still in the zone, so I can only really focus on the intricate steps to getting to where I wanted to be. In the sanctuary. Yes. So we were in the foyer. We were on our way to the sanctuary, and we get there. And I was playing into his hands perfectly. Yes. Like I walk in, and the first thing I say is, oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to get married in a church, but if I did, I would so get married right here. It's gorgeous. And I'm, like, fist pumping inside, like, score. Like, I'm, like, I hope Jen and rich are hearing this like you know they're probably and you know at this point they're hiding behind the sound booth and you know they're recording it's got their camera set up mom's yeah. got her like instagram out ready to get pictures and video this and was a whole this was all set up so i'm feeling pretty good like this is great this is gonna happen um that was like foreshadowing <laughs> i was that was like the peak of the moment um i take her to a window and i'm like trying to again point out some some things about the church like this is where like there was some tornado damage um I was which just again to... anyone who knows cameron knows there will somehow be a weather reference yes. involved just kind of in... show and tell but actually the reason why i did that was like i'm trying to get her closer to the piano to the keyboard that i set up